you can gain additional control of what can and can't be pushed to your repository. In GitLab, if you go to Settings and Repository, we can expand the push rules, where we see that we can reject unverified users and unsigned commits, or check if someone is a GitLab user. In this case, we want to make sure that only this specific person can commit to the main code or to the GitLab repository. So we put our commit author's email, and now we are ready to save the rules. So let's do a quick test. We have updated our push rules so that only one specific person can commit. But let's switch to another user, to Parker in this case, who is different to the one we just added. So we go to the list of open issues and we will choose one issue that is already open and ready to accept merge requests. Let's open the issue of edit main template. We click on create merge request and fire up the web IDE where we want to start adding changes to the code. Under the templates folder, we go to the index.html. Let's make a little change in this file. Now, let's try to commit the changes. I leave a commit message and click on commit. And as you can see, we get an error that the email of the user that is trying to commit the changes does not follow the pattern that we previously configured. That's the expected behavior because we want to restrict push and merge access to certain users. In this case, this person that was trying to commit here. Let's go back to the other user and repeat our steps. We go to our issues, open the same issue as before, and now we will continue working where the other user was in the already open merge request. We fire up the web IDE, and now let's try to make the same change that the previous user was attempting to do. Here, let's add this little change and commit. As you can see now, the changes are committed and we can see that this will start our pipeline. And in the merge request page, we can see that the pipeline has started running. The email of the person committing the changes is aligned with the push rules we previously set up. Gain additional control over what can and can't be pushed to your repository by using regular expressions to reject pushes based on commit contents, branch names, or file details, or whether the commit author is a GitLab user.